from Eco Ways here. We're on top of a hill near our house. Um, it's like the middle of, of May now, and there's still wild orchids flowering, and there are different set of species that are flowering at this time of year. And one of my favorites, and one particularly special orchid, is this one here. This is a, a bee orchid. Now, Ophrys is the um, genus, and there's many species of them that are very difficult to identify unless you're a real expert botanist, which I'm not. I'm a botanist, but I'm not a real expert. This, I mean, just look at it. It's stunningly beautiful, and it's co-evolved probably with another insect that, with, like we discussed before, where they think it's a beautiful female bee, and they come and they try to copulate with it and it's the pseudo copulation and off they go looking for another one and they spread the pollen so beautiful beautiful it's quite short and they're like little jewels they're so beautifully colored beautifully shaped very very complex there's another one here slightly different coloration it's the intraspecific variation so within the same species the variation but these are like i mentioned before very highly evolved, very complex flowers. There's even a little fly orchid here. Uh, you see here also. Um, yesterday I was walking here with my daughter because she's doing a project for university in England about grasslands like this and how important it is to conserve them. And so we came up here to photograph some of these orchids. And she discovered as she was walking out, she said, look at this one here. And I, started, I looked, and it was an orchid I've never seen before. Beautiful orchid. And I immediately realized this was something quite special. So we took a photograph, and we sent the photograph to a colleague of mine, uh, a man called Lorenzo Dotti, who's a world expert on orchids as well as an artist. And he's incredible. He's a guy, one of those people I always look up to because he can identify all of the plants, all of the insects, all of the birds, everything. He's so amazing. He's one of those people that I can learn so much from to spend time. Anyway, when we sent the photograph, sure enough, it was an orchid that hasn't been recorded in this area for, for more than 200 years. So it's an extremely rare orchid and a very unusual sighting. And he's coming this morning to confirm the sighting and to list the sighting and probably be writing scientific papers on it and if he's not too shy we'll show you when he's looking at this orchid but what I'd like to do what I'd like to do now is take you over it's just over there if we can find it again in this long grass to show you this very special very very rare orchid that we discovered yesterday so let's go and have a look over there hey guys so we came just 40 meters further along and here it is this very rare orchid that hasn't been seen in this area of the world for more than 200 years. And it's called Orchis Militaris, which is like the military orchid. And it's probably named like that because it looks like it's kind of, I don't know, it was probably named two, three, four hundred years ago. And it looks like a kind of military hat like maybe Napoleon would have wear. So it looks like he's got a kind of funny hat with a funny uniform. I don't think it's a very nice name, military orchid, like the soldier orchid. To me, this is a very delicate, peaceful, incredibly refined, beautiful looking thing. It doesn't look like a soldier to me at all. But, so if I, I would like, you know, for fun to rename it, we could do that. But, we're going to come back here in a, well, we better get going actually. We've got to meet him. And he's coming with his wife, who is also an incredibly famous botanist. And they, both of them wrote the authoritative work on on orchids in Italy especially in northern Italy and they're both famous botanists and he is an artist too and they're going to come so they're going to actually make an official recording of this species because like I said it has not even them who tromp around these hills looking for orchids have seen this before so this is something very special um, and hopefully like I said before if he's not too shy we'll get some kind of footage of him I don't know if you can talk English or not. So, Orcus military. Here it is. Beautiful, beautiful thing. Canina, esatto, esatto. Solidago e tutto. 
Ci sono tutte qui. Uh -huh. Questa uh -huh. l'abbia mancata ieri. Ma che bello, Madonna quante! Eh? Ci sono abbastanza uh -huh. qui, in questa parte. Questa <ride> lì. Allora, quelle sotto sono le famiglie. Sì, lo so. Ma se siamo lontani anche oh, noi. Siamo a perso almeno quello. Sì, Nelle... uh -huh. Ok, sì. sì. Ci sono solo le due là. Mamma mia, ah, è, okay. è, è, no, è, è rara, eh? Ma fatto sì. in un contesto. Io sempre faccio la passeggiata qui per controllare eh. per dieci anni, non ho mai visto. E qua, ieri siamo passati qui, si vede. E mi ha detto, oh c'è un altro è qui, e ho fermato. Ma questo non ho mai visto. E, e ho, ho, ho subito, ho subito. Io ho l'impressione. Io vi, ma ho visto in Casa Bogone, queste, sì. ho, hai visto la foto. Just had a really exciting meeting with the two people that wrote this book, Lorenzo and Amelita, and they wrote this book, which is the authorities' book on orchids in this area, but they're world authorities on orchids. And they came and they looked at the orchids that we showed you earlier, and confirmed that it a was the species we thought it was, the Orchis militaria, and b they've confirmed the presence there and we looked at some other populations of rare orchids in the area and so what does this show but it shows that if you keep your eyes open you see stuff and you don't have to be highly trained to do that i've got training in different things but i'm not a specialist in orchids these guys are but I was walking with Maya and my daughter and we noticed the orchid and I noticed it was different. Why did I notice it was different from other orchids I'd seen? Because I'm paying attention. And if I see something I don't know what it is, I'm curious. And it, that's a starting place because when I was six or seven, I didn't know what lots of things were. So I picked up books and I learned about them or I asked people that knew about them. I went and studied them. And when I've lived in different places in the world, I've been curious about what's around me, especially in the living world. When I was living in Hawaii, I was curious about what was in the jungle. I was curious about what was living in the plains. I was really curious about what was living in the coral reefs. And I didn't know any of that. I grew up in London. And I got to learn about those things by being curious. And you can do that. You don't have to be a world expert, like these guys are. But you can become a world expert. And you can get to... The first step of that is curiosity. Curiosity gets you interested in where you are or where you visit and gets you to start to ask questions. And that's really exciting part of education is asking questions about where things are and why they're there and what patterns are and how things are distributed and how things live and live together. And all those kind of things are part of science in particular, but you can study them with many different ways as we've been talking about during this series. So, good news, Orcus militaris has been confirmed on our little hill here. And this is the first time it's been seen here for more than 200 years, and that's been confirmed now. So, quite exciting. That just was for me and Maya going for a walk yesterday, and we saw an unusual-looking orchid. And thought, oh, that's interesting. Sent the picture to the guy, and out they came, and it's been confirmed. You can do it, wherever you are. And if people start paying no attention to where they are, they'll start to notice what's there. And if you start to notice what's there, you start to notice when it disappears. And with our world at the moment, we're losing so much so quickly. And often we don't even know it's gone because we didn't know it was there in the first place. Why? Not because we weren't world experts, but because we weren't paying attention. So pay attention where you are, especially the things that live in your community around you. The people that live in the community around you. Different people, maybe they're speaking different languages, maybe they're eating different foods, maybe they're playing different musics, maybe they have different belief systems than you. Be curious about them, find out about them, find out where, who they are, what they're from, see what you can learn, see what you can share. And the other things in your community that may be plants or animals or microbes, whatever it is, explore, investigate, get excited and curious. Because a lot of the things you may think we all know 
we know everything about the world. It seems like it from books written by experts and from the internet and from libraries and universities. Well, we don't. And the more you learn and the more you study, the, realize, the more you realize how little we know. So, new orchids. Kind of cool, yeah? Bye-bye.